um, my mother in Japan is also stuck in the 80s. She told me, Yumi, I want you to remember this. Behind every great man, there is a great woman. I want you to find a nice Japanese husband and become a great wife and become a great mother. I listened to her very carefully and said, fuck that shit. <laughs> And I moved to Canada <laughs> and became a stand-up comedian. <laughs> I love Vancouver. Vancouver is a beautiful city. But when I walk streets in Vancouver, lots of creepy white men <laughs> come and ask me, Konnichiwa. Do you want to go for sushi sometime? I think it's slightly racist. Like 75% racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me explain. For example, when I see an attractive, let's say, a Mexican guy, would I go and say, Hola! <laughs> Do you want me to help you pay for the wall? <laughs> For example, when I see an attractive, let's say, an Australian guy, would I go and say, good day, do you want to do some cocaine in Whistler? <laughs> say that <laughs> because it's racist <laughs> and I wouldn't fuck Australians <laughs> um, comparing when I was in Japan I am becoming more of an independent woman because Japanese men they are nice, they treat you all the time, they drive you anywhere, and they let you know that you are attractive by avoiding eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving you dry humps on the crowded train. <laughs> I mean, it's sweet. <laughs> but it doesn't help girls become self-sufficient. <laughs> but on the other hand, dating Vancouver men is like self-reliance boot camp. <laughs> you split the bills because your date is often broke. <laughs> you navigate with your Google Map app because your date is often stoned. <laughs> Day by day, I'm getting more independent financially and emotionally. I have three jobs, stand-up comedy, acting, and waitressing. I even started sending little money to my parents in Japan. And the other day, I fixed an internet problem all by myself. <laughs> and I realized that I was strong and fierce, <laughs> full of fire, <laughs> with an insane work ethic and unstoppable ambition. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am becoming the man I always wanted to marry. 